welcome to Homestead Corner. I'm Jenny, and today I've got a $25 stock up pantry haul from the Dollar Tree. So today I ran into Dollar Tree and grabbed a $25 budget haul. I was able to spend the whole $25 and I found a couple of new things, but not that much. Most of it was already things that they have in normally in stock. So let's jump in and see what we got. So the first thing I grabbed today was a cotton mop head. I don't see these very often in Dollar Tree and I have a few in my stockpile because I really like these. They're great for cleaning and also you can use the strings on here as a wick because they're 100% cotton. Uh, a lot of times they don't have these in stock because they're switching over to that microfiber and weird made stuff, but I love the cotton ones. So I do get these whenever I see them. So I grabbed an extra one today. They only had one. I probably would have bought two or three if they had them, but uh, cause I love to have these cause they're multi-purpose. You can use them for a lot of things and they work out great. And the next thing I grabbed was an extra scoop. They had more scoops in stock, so I grabbed one of these. If you store foods in five gallon buckets or bulk quantities, scoops are wonderful to have on hand to make it easier to get them into your containers that you're gonna keep in your kitchen because you don't want a bunch of five gallon buckets hanging around the kitchen, taking up all your space. So I love those scoops. They work really, really well. And then I did find these are new in our store. They're from Serve and they are compostable um, little paper bowls. So I thought that was great uh, if you are into the compostable stuff, you wanna make sure that it's earth friendly. These are wonderful. You get 10 normally in the other packages, but these compostable ones are a little bit smaller, but you know, it's a trade off, whatever you decide. I have all sorts of them and I just thought I would grab these cause I noticed they were new and in stock. And they also had these little oval dinner plates, which is great and you get six of those and they got a nice little lip on the side. So if you got something kind of uh, saucy or something like that, you don't want it running all over the place. And they are pretty sturdy. Um, they're a lot sturdier than those um, other paper plates. They're more sturdy like the uh, wax coated ones that you can get. And then I also grabbed the uh, 24 pack of utensils, spoons, knives, and forks. I think those are wonderful to have in the pantry as well. Anytime where you're conserving dishes, and I don't know if you guys saw my video yesterday, but our septic was down and we could not have anything go down the drain. So dishes were rough you know, the toileting, all that stuff, and paper plates and plastic silverware come in super handy in those situations. So you've got them when you need them. Not something we always use, but good to have on hand for those emergencies. And then I also grabbed a pack of the emergency candles. I really like having these in the pantry. We put them in mason jars and put the little, um, a little match scratcher thing right on the jar so we're ready to go you can put your matches in the jar do it any way you want but these are great to have on hand great for emergencies or anytime you want a thin tapered candle type thing it's not really tapered but <laughs> they work out great and I also grabbed an extra pack of tea lights candles are so important in your emergency supplies so you have them for cooking lighting heating whatever it is you need them for. They really are super handy and it can be used in so many different ways. If you've got little bits of wax left over in the bottom, you can warm those up in you know, whatever you have for a container on the stove over another candle and dip your lint or cardboard, anything to make a, make a fire starter with it. So that's also great for any of that little bits of leftover wax that you always have. So we like to have those. And then I also grabbed, let's see, two two pound packages of the brown rice. We use this for our dog food and we only keep about six months worth of brown rice in the house because we do not want to have too much of it. Brown rice does go rancid and is not good for long-term storage, but we use it in our dog food and a couple of dishes that we like. 
And um, so we like to keep at least six months worth on the shelf, just enough so we know we're going to use it and it's not going to go bad. And then I also grabbed two of these Hungry Jack potatoes. We absolutely love these. Um, you just put a little bit of water in, cover them over and let them sit for 10 minutes and then toss them in your frying pan or in a casserole or anything. We just drain that water off and then add it to any dish like we would regular little home fries. And I throw some onions in here and we use them a lot for breakfast bowls and frittatas, breakfast casseroles, anything like that. And these will go long term, which is really nice. They do not have any oils in them. So you can repackage these for long term storage. They won't go long term in these boxes because they're not airtight in here. But they, they'll last on the shelf for at least a year the way they are. So if you're going to be using them up, then you don't need to repackage them at all. The next thing I grabbed was another pack of the Old Bay Seasoning. We really love this for our seafood. It's great. Um, none of the stores around here really carry big, huge containers of it, but $1.25. And we don't use tons of this, so but I do like it on my seafood. So I like to buy the individual little packages. So the next thing I grabbed is a black peppercorn spice grinder. Um, I don't love the grinders, but whenever you buy your spices in whole form, they are going to last the longest in your storage. So we like to grab them like this, and then I just grind them up myself and put them into my containers when I'm ready to use them. It keeps them fresher, longer, and spices are not going to go bad in your long-term storage but they do kind of lose their oomph over time. So anytime you can store whole spices, they're going to last the longest and keep their flavor and properties the best. And then I also grabbed the um, Serve compostable straws. You get a 50 pack for $1.25. Not the greatest deal on straws, but they are compostable. And I know a lot of people are concerned about that stuff. So they're getting more and more things like that into uh, Dollar Tree and I also noticed I know a few of you are gluten-free and I did notice they have gluten-free pasta there this week That's not something that we normally buy, but I thought I would mention it in case you're looking for it $1.25 is a really good deal for anything gluten-free So the next thing we grabbed were fire starters, you know me. I love my matches I think they are wonderful to have on hand and I do not think you can have too many you could have a whole room full. You probably need them. Uh, <laughs> and I also grabbed a lighter. I like these little extendable ones. These are refillable and they work wonderfully. They only come about half full, but if you buy the little butane cans, you can fill, fill these up and they are super duper cheap that way. Uh, I really like these. It's not the super long one. The ones they carry now are not refillable. So I started getting these shorter ones, which still work great for jarred candles and things like that. So gives you a little bit of room between your fingertip and the flame. And then I grabbed a couple cans of petite diced tomatoes, the, um, what are these, the red gold, they're uh, non-GMO, and these are quite delicious. We have these in our pantry, and whenever I see good deals on tomatoes and things like that, I try to grab them. These are way over $1.25 at other stores, so I wanted to get extras in the pantry because we always use them. How you doing, sweetie? <laughs> Little puppy. Mr. Nico wants to be included today. And the last thing I grabbed from the Dollar Tree is this red enchilada sauce. It is by Old El Paso. I grabbed two cans of these because we love having these on the shelf. The enchilada sauce is good for so many different things. We eat enchiladas all the time and we also make enchilada rice. You can make enchilada soup. I mean, it just puts that great flavor in just about any meal you decide to use it in and we love having it on hand. And that is it for my $25 budget stock up haul. It's not really that big, but it's quite a few things to add into the pantry. I got four pounds of rice, some canned goods, and I always love getting food when we find good deals on food that we like there. And all of the emergency supplies are also great. Anything that you can use on a regular day-to-day -day basis when you can save money on it, it definitely helps out the budget. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye.